An individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat. You cannot beat a team. You may be better than me, but my team will fucking smoke you. That is my superpower. I train my team to be 10 times better than me because a follower, somebody who voluntarily follows the leader without money involved. You see these guys, they don't work for me. I earn the right to be their leader every day because being a leader is a privilege. Leaders can get fired just like people can get fired by the leaders. I'm gonna tell you why I tell people I'll give you 10 million cash if you can recruit somebody on my team. It's because they don't work for money. Become the example. You're you and what separates you and makes you different than any other company in any other place in the world is you. An individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat. Something that's super important is if you're gonna build anything big in life, you're gonna have to have a team, okay? When I started building my brand, my brand was me, which obviously your brand is you. And a lot of people think that your company is your brand, but you're really the brand. And people most likely will become interested in you way before they'll become interested in your company or your brand or what you do, right? This isn't about me. This is about my company. This is about my team. Elliot isn't my last name anymore. It is our movement. So. I think you need to become really aware how to continually make you better. You can't solve anyone else's problem if you can't solve your own problems. A lot of you in here, you're in charge of a lot of people or a couple people and you're trying to solve other people's but you don't solve your own problems. You're not the leader. You're not the leader. You're the boss and people work for a boss for a paycheck. You wanna make good money? Come with me, come with me. Don't ever train someone that way. If you wanna become a good, person, human excellence, you want to become a person that other people look up to, you want to become a leader. If you want to become that, I want to invest in you so you can go very far with me. And a byproduct of becoming a great person, in being with me, in loyalty, which is something that I live for, I have to have loyalty. If you're not going to be with me long term, big picture, no loyalty, I don't want you with me. Every one of you need to know this, leaders inspire, leaders lead by living the example themselves. I decided that day that from that day forward, I was going to, to be a leader. Number one, self-leadership. Can I ask you a question? What do you look like? Okay, all of you can be attractive and good looking. If you're 60 years old, you're 70 years old, you're 18 years old watching this, I will tell you this, your number one goal is to stay alive, be healthy, and be as attractive as possible. Please don't tell me, Andy, I don't wanna be attractive, I don't really care. We know you don't care with that shitty ass attitude. By the way, if you wanna get close to me, you get close to my team. People that come up and they're like, hey, 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 boss, what's going on? Back up. Hey, I want to know how my team feels about you. You being good to my team? You cheering my team on? You growing my team? You pushing the team? You being a good leader in the organization? I see you now. I like that because that's what an alpha leader does. An alpha leader continues to break the bar in their own industry, in their own sector, in their own territory, but also continues to help everybody else and all the others. And by the way, it's not about being alpha, it's about being alpha and loving everybody else at the same time.